Good morning, everybody. Scrapping with Grandpa, what's next? Well, I'll tell you what's next. I did a video the other day on uh, scrapping magnetrons. I don't remember exactly what the title was, but I think it was um, something about magnetrons. And uh, somebody watched the video and said they kind of felt a little bit cheated because I wasn't actually scrapping the mag magnetron and they wanted to learn how to get the copper out of these things. This, and please don't go away. Um, somebody said they kind of felt cheated because um, I said I was scrapping a magnetron and I didn't scrap the magnetron. So today I'm scrapping a magnetron. Don't go nowhere because we're gonna scrap these things out. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna show you how the easiest way to get that copper nugget out of there. And about eight of them will make a pound of copper and it doesn't take long to get it. So what I do and what you're gonna wanna do is take your vise and you're gonna wanna clamp that in your vise. Um, I'm gonna set my uh, camera up on my tripod and we'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right guys, so for me, what I do is right there. I'll take my vise and I'll set my magnetron in there so that just the top is showing. There you go. Yes, you're gonna lose a little bit of copper on this way um, because you're gr because you're cutting it, but it's all right. That's quite all right. Check this out. It's pretty quick. This is what I use. Dewalt, Dewalt blade, and you're gonna do this. One side, loosen it up, flip it over. I've seen magnetrons done so many different ways, but for me, this is the absolute fastest way I've ever found. And I don't think this is a faster way. like that is because I didn't uh I should have never went sideways with it but at this point um I'm so far gone with it I could take a pair of pliers and rip it off or I could just continue cutting and be done with it I'm just going to continue cutting almost there There you go. Megatron. End result. All right, so literally for just two of them, let's drop them on the scale. I have it set for ounces. Four ounces. There's 16 ounces in a pound. That means six more of these give you one pound. So let's find out, is that true? Will six more of these give me a pound? That'd be interesting. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I have five of them. I don't have six, so let's do five. These two here will make seven, and we'll pretty much know whether one more would make a pound or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do these quickly. That was not too bad. One, two, three, four. That's five of them. We have two more to make seven, and I think it takes eight to make a pound. Um, the part about this is when you're putting it on there, you want to make sure that you got it up high enough, high enough to where you're not um, cutting into this piece right here. So you're going to lose a little bit of copper here, 
but uh, you don't want to be cutting into this because it does not cut very easily, I'm telling you. This is the fastest way I've ever found to do one of these things. Uh, time me. How long does it take to cut one end off? Takes to cut one end off. This one here was cut just about perfectly, as you can see that orange around all the way around. Uh, I got into it a little bit, but uh, you can see just a little bit of orange all the way around that thing. So, how long was that? Not too long, right? But anyway, let's get this other end cut off of this one. Then we got one more, and then I think we're going to weigh seven of them and come to find out that they're going to be one short of a pound the comment on my video was um that he wasn't actually going to say that it was clickbait but he was a little bit disappointed he thought that there was gonna, he's seen several videos and he actually thought this might be a different video so here it is a different video guys um not clickbait your plug-in um, because I'm telling you it will be faster than the battery operated if you look at the uh, precipitating rate ouch that burnt me um, you're gonna find that uh, it's very much uh, faster on the um, uh, one that you plug in uh, if you uh, take your microwaves apart, you might as well go ahead and start saving these things. Should write this down as the best way to scrap a magnetron. But I want to tell you guys something. I'm going to do this again, but I'm going to do it with my band saw. But the other day, I broke my blade on my band saw, so I just ordered two more. <coughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to use my band saw. Think about it. Just think about it how that band saw, you can just set it up here to the side and just set it over here so it's sticking out this way and just. Run that bandsaw right down that thing. Oh my word, are you kidding me? In the meantime, let's get this last one done. All right, there you go, guys. No clickbait. What are you doing, love? Anyways, absolutely not clickbait. So check one, this out. two, three, four, five, six, seven. What I've been finding is about two ounces each. So let's turn on the scale and see. Tar it out. We got zero. We're going with ounces. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen ounces. We need sixteen ounces for a pound. <clears throat> so either one more, possibly two. So seven. I mean uh, eight or possibly nine of these things will be a little bit over to make a complete pound. And that's not too bad, guys. Magnetron. Real magnetron video I've ever made. And it's not going to be clickbait. So hope you enjoyed it. Scrapple Grandpa, what's next? <laughs>